Om Shanti, welcome back. We are doing the recording of yesterday's 26th and today's 27th Kali Blessing. Been busy with Bhai Tika, which we celebrate all over in India, especially in Darjeeling. It's celebrated in a very big way. So, let's go ahead and let's understand what the Supreme Father had to say with regards to anger and what does it do. So, God says over here, may you become free from anger and a conqueror of Maya and constantly experience happiness in Brahmin life. Now that is one thing which each Brahmin needs to overcome, including myself. See, anger doesn't have just a form of you shouting at somebody. That's what we think when we think of anger or we visualize it as somebody shouting, somebody with a red face or somebody with the burning red eyes or, you know, you see, you see smoke coming out of the ears as shown in the cartoons. It's not something like that. Anger has got different modes, even irritation or uh, putting somebody else down is also a form of anger. Getting hurt and putting somebody else down is also a form of anger or uh, frustration in any kind of thing, any kind of irritation is also a form of anger. So God says that may you become free from anger and a conqueror of Maya, one part of Maya is anger too. And constantly experience happiness in Brahmin life. So if you want to experience happiness. Now see this is the condition for happiness. If you want to experience happiness in Brahmin life. It is essential for you to conquer anger. Even if someone swears at you or insults you. Somebody swearing at you. Calling you names. Or insults you. You must not get angry. Why? Because the happiness is going to go away. Somebody is trying to steal the happiness. Remember yesterday's blessing where we were trying to say that somebody is trying to put in that virus into your subconscious, into your programming. Are you going to allow that person to put that virus? Or are you all going to allow that person to work into your software? You won't allow anybody to touch your software. You won't allow anybody to work on your software, right? So you wouldn't want anybody to change your Android software. You wouldn't want anyone to work on your phone and change things around as per the applications. But why do we allow people to work on our software? Our mind is a software. Our intellect is a software. How do we allow other people to put in a virus of anger? We shouldn't. We should take care of this software as we take care of our health. And we take care of other things, including your laptop, including your phone, including now your watch, including everything, right? So you put everything into a digital, you put a password. Why don't you put a password to your mind so that nobody can open the lock and enter into it and put an anger as an application to run behind, even though that person is gone. You see, the application still runs at the background. So God doesn't want us to have that because happiness is going to go away. So God then says, to show bossiness is also a trace of anger. Now, this is something very, very beautiful. Trying to show bossiness. I told you to do this. Didn't I tell you? You haven't finished your work right now? I have told you two hours back I told you something to do and you have not done it? That bossiness is also not listening to others, putting your words first. Not letting other, other people speak out. Not letting other people express themselves. Not allowing other people to put up their point And showing bossiness, putting them down, shutting them down is also a form of anger. It's a form of anger. So God then says, Don't you think that you have to get, don't you think that you have to get angry in order for you to be able to achieve anything? Do not think that you have to get angry in order for you to be able to achieve anything in today's world. It might be a temporary achievement, but in terms of your health, you are achieve, going to achieve something very big. You understand what I am trying to say, right? So God says, in today's world, things get spoiled because of anger. See, it's very difficult to create a team, but it's very easy to break a team. You show your anger and you lose your leadership. You show any tinge of irritation, frustration, bossiness, people don't like it anymore. 
big corporates big organizations have fallen even rome had fallen because of anger imagine that ego anger lust jealousy greed hatred and that was the downfall of rome think about your house as a small rome think of your organization as a small rome what do you want to do with that wouldn't you want to remove this virus forever if you want to do that do attend a saturday session from 5 pm to 6:30 approximately it's going to be one hour but then half an hour for question and answers or 15 minutes for question and answers do attend this coming saturday i'm going to put up the zoom link and also the contact number and also the whatsapp group link do click on that and do attend it's going to be fabulous so let's go ahead god then says but anything spoiled so let's say in today's world things get spoiled because of anger but anything spoiled is put right with soul conscious love and peace therefore understand anger to be a very big vice <clears throat> it's not a small thing and become free from mm. anger and a conqueror of maya you can burn houses with anger you can burn yourself first with anger you can burn organizations with anger you can burn money to with anger right you can burn somebody else's heart with anger if that soul doesn't have spiritual knowledge that soul is going to burn with anger with your anger every single moment thinking what you said why you said how you said <clears throat> so imagine if you have done something to somebody with anger are you going to receive blessings or are you going to receive curses in your life because if that person is crying because of you then that person is cursing you how about sleeping with curses how's your health going to be with curses think about it and let me know with this om shanti